Hello everyone and welcome to this beautiful, beautiful place called Fernland. What have I been up to recently? Very legitimate question. Uh, guys, I have been busy and I haven't done a lot in here. Uh, I, I've made some progress with our mob spawner here. So yeah, this little guy here, I already dug a huge area here. You can see the, the materials I have been storing everything inside those boxes in here. I guess I guess I moved some things for the main base uh, or what could be called the main base now. So what I have is this drop for now. And if they drop to this height, they will die. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to work on this area for now. I don't want to work on this. Because I have some more digging to do, because I had some cool ideas, some some things that I can add to this little portion of the map that I think will be really cool and really useful for the future, but we're not going to do this now. And I think we need a beacon to do that. So yeah, the projects, today's project is about this. Not to get the beacon, because to get the beacon I need to kill a bunch of wither skeletons. And I, I don't think I have the resources to kill them. Like I have my armor and uh, well, I guess I have uh, almost everything, but I need to work on the fortress. I need to break a few blocks so that I get uh, more spawns there. And uh, I also maybe could use a few potions just to guarantee that I will not, that I'm not going to die when I'm trying to kill those guys. Uh, but that's about it, and then I, will, I can get a beacon. Maybe I'll even make a farm before I can get my first beacon, who knows. Uh, what we're going to do today is to work on the blaze farm. So, I think it was last episode, or before the last episode, I promised I would go back there and give those guys what they deserve because of what they did to me, and today I think I'm gonna do the blaze farm so that we can proceed to doing the potion brewing system. But before anything, I want to show you guys the, 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 the temporary uh, breeding system for the villagers. I'm having a few problems in here. So sometimes I'm throwing food at them and they're not picking it up. You can see that the two pieces of bread I threw at them, they're not picking it up and they're not breeding as well. So they're not full and those guys basically are not generating any more villagers for me and I swear I didn't change anything around here so if we come down here I hope we don't have any mobs here any most high mobs uh, let's place a torch here just for uh, so yeah we have this guy here and this is supposed to be the infinite breeder this is this has been working so far so I'm not sure if in one of the last updates uh, Mojang changed it so that we don't, we, we can't have infinite breeders anymore. So if you guys know anything about it, or if you guys know how is it possible for a villager breeder to die like this, just let me know. I used to, I, I was throwing them some of those stacks in here and I had to break the glass and get everything back because it was going to be a waste. It's really, really weird how they won't pick up any items and they won't breed. And um, I, I swear I didn't change anything here. So if you guys have any insight on how to sort this out, please let me know in the comments. And But that's about it, guys. This is the bad news and the good news. So not too much to show for updates. I think we can move on straight to our new project, guys. So guys, let's talk a little bit about the projects before we start. I have a new design for a blaze farm. I don't really need one because the, the real good thing about my previous design is that it still works. I don't know when I made it. I guess it was for Minecraft 1.9. Might have had been for 1.8. But I made it for 1.9. But it still worked in 1.10 and 1.11 and 1.12, guys. So this is a really great design. Even after the guys included the entity cramming uh, mechanic in the game. Uh, the farm would work most of the time. Ha! Take the axe and the sword. Oh, I forgot to give him the, the bow. Uh, is there a dark spot anywhere around you? Wow, more zombies! Those guys are really calling reinforcements. So, yeah, I'm collecting a few dandelions here because I want to I wanna do yellow glass, yes. Uh, the farm is going to use a big bubble <laughs> of glass and then uh, my new super simple mechanism. It's based on AI, pretty much like my previous design. 
uh, and it's heavily influenced once again by uh, the, 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 the findings by Pi 3104, 314, I should say, mm -hmm. as well as Nambon's new findings, because he he basically yeah. added a lot of new, very useful information uh, that, of course, I will show you guys during the building of this farm. Hopefully, I will be able to record everything. <laughs> I have been having a few problems with recording lately, like full hard drive and nowhere to move important files, so I had to do a little bit of uh, management around here. Well, four stacks is definitely not going to be enough. Uh, I would like to use some slime blocks. We don't have enough in here. Slime blocks are just for covering the, the mob spawner temporarily and stopping it. So yeah, I didn't fix the machine yet because we don't have the resources for now, but after the blaze farm, we will have the resources. That's for sure. And, but I, uh, I did brew some potions. So Let's take six of them. This should be enough. Uh, do we need one of those? It would be good to have one. Mm, okay, so let me just grab a few slime blocks and we are heading to the nether. Here we are. I am still not very much familiar with the place. Oh, you could make me a real good potion. I have to be very careful with the sword because last time what happened is I was trying to hit a blaze and then I like the the sweeping effect hit the hit the zombie pigment legs to it and that's that's how all the uh, the messy stuff started so maybe let's close this off i'm not sure where the spawners are i know that they are not close enough that we can make a single farm with both of them but we need a blaze farm really really quick um so where should I head to next? So we have one there. Or, oh, okay, okay, guys, okay. <laughs> okay, I see you there. How can they see me from that distance? Okay, they're going to shoot again. Uh, is there any any other? Where is the other mob spawner? Is it any closer? Because I want to get the closest one to be our first farm. For sure, in the future, I wanna I wanna merge two spawners, but. For this one, I don't think we can do that. Well, those guys will probably be able to see me from there. Uh, yes, they can. Okay, I think we're going to work on, on that one back there. So, let's drink our potion. I think it's so funny that those guys are usually deadly, but if you, if you're, if you have the potion, they basically can't do anything to you. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, we need to expand this in, in all the directions, basically. Uh, and okay, so let me do that and break a few blocks and I will be right back with you guys. Oh, hello. I think we are done. I think they cannot spawn in here. So one, I think it's four in here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh -huh. So uh, you will probably notice that we can see, wow, those guys can see me from that far. Wow. Uh, yeah, you guys will notice that the nether is really clear today. I changed the configuration uh, in the options file uh, with Minecraft. So I changed the gamma uh, specifically for the episode. So I might forget to change it back. So if you guys notice anything weird in my next episodes, just let me know again that I forgot to change the gamma. So yeah, that's just for the, the nether episode. I hope I hope it's good for you guys. YouTube usually doesn't do good with uh, the rendering and uh, yeah, if, if it's too dark in Minecraft. Like if you're playing, you can see it pretty good, but after it becomes uh, the rendered file and MP4, for some reason it's not that good. But yeah, that's okay. Let's finish here, finishing clearing a little bit around here. And I don't have enough materials, of course. I, had to, I have to place a chest in here and bring some stone here because I need to make some slabs. And I don't think I don't think I want to do slabs out of uh, nether bricks. So, yeah, guys, uh, this is uh, we we took we conquered the our first uh, blaze spawner here, and we're going to build a farm around it. All right, boys and girls, I'm back with a few resources and. I decided to build a little wall here because those guys, I believe they don't want me to work around here. And 
yeah, <laughs> this is being a mess. So I just brought a few extra resources in here with me, as well as in my uh, ender chest. I don't think we need the storage here. Let's maybe cover this. So yeah, I brought some support blocks, lots of extra glass, collected some more Dandelio or Dandelion, whatever, some stone. Uh, it's my second trip because I forgot that I have an extra ender chest. So yeah, I have something on me as well, some more stone and wood. I think I can leave this bottom here. Yeah, I also brought all uh, one stack of each uh, redstone component. This is going to be more than enough, but I'm, I might leave some of the components in here because uh, in the future I might add some stuff here because today we're just going to build the base uh, functionality of this thing. So I have already marked uh, down uh, the places we need to go for the cage. So there's going to be a glass cage here. So six blocks down for this from this pawner. So yeah, enough talk. Let's get to building this thing.
and now put that, that, and that. And uh, guys, I believe the system should be should be almost done. I decided to do the last part on camera because maybe maybe it's going to be funny. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what can happen. Let's see what we see. So I have to climb up there. Um, hopefully those guys will not be able to kill me. What, why, why am I not able to jump? Oh, those blocks are super annoying. Even in single player, I wonder how, how those things would behave in, uh, in multiplayer. Alright, so now <laughs> it's finally the time when I have to start uh, breaking some of the some of the slime blocks in here and then I have to place a upside down dispenser here uh, when I was designing this I, th I thought about it I, I was trying to make a design that wouldn't require me to uh, and you can see it's happening it's happening as soon as you break the first block they are on <laughs> they are on to you um, I always wondered if this could be exploited because this this basically happens all the time. Okay, so let's cover this back on. I don't think we're gonna fire this by mistake. Uh, why is this not covered? Uh, this might be a problem because I only brought one block with me. Huh. Maybe let's cover using this little block for now and then we can fix this later because this block that i have here with me is supposed to close the my exit down there so this is not going to be an easy task now because <laughs> i have to place a bunch of blocks in here oh my what am i doing with my life okay so the thing is i have to break those blocks like this and blazes will start spawning here and right next to me actually <laughs> and i have to place signs and signs are super slow to place uh let me drink my first potion here how how did you miss from that distance you really suck at your job and you're trapped so yeah maybe this is not going to be that hard is this height correct i hope so i sure hope so I think it's the same height as this spawner itself, so should be fine. Oh man, I think I, I built this one block too too high. I can't believe I messed this up. Okay, so this goes in there and this arrow goes in your head. Another one, okay, you can thank me later. Oh, oh <laughs> man. It's starting to become a mess already. Okay, maybe let's cover everything up again so that I can work here. Because now I have to oh I have to change everything. So this observer block goes in here. And this guy. This would still work, but I want to do it right. So I'm not sure how I'm going to place this guy in here. I have to, I'll have to break another <laughs> another slime block. Well, I told you guys I, I would go back to, to recording with voice because that, that beat would be funny. I just didn't expect... Why? How do you, do you manage to appear exactly where I dig? Okay. Um, all right. So now let's build our redstone line right here oh did I do I have enough redstone dust I don't think so let's see one two three okay I do four five okay this is gonna work okay so this part's going to be boring because I'm just going to move the ceiling one block down so I will cut to the part where I have this done all right <laughs> things are not looking good to me guys oh man let's get in here that's i ran out of arrows i had to uh, to go all the way back to my base and get more arrows i do have enough potions though but 
Uh, what I don't have enough is the lack of blazes trying to shoot at me. This is terrible. I think I'm gonna have to kill all of them. But otherwise I will never finish this. Hello? <laughs> it's starting to feel like guacamole. <laughs> or guacamole, I should say. Okay, okay, this is... I think I can work now. Lots of particles in my face, I don't like this. Okay. Let's get the signs finished. I think I need to place the lava bucket in, yeah. You go away. Luckily I have knockback here. This also helps a lot. You see arrows everywhere. <laughs> it's a projectile war. <laughs> Can I win? Okay. Almost done. I have no idea how I'm going to do the last the last row. Die guys! You just die! <laughs> oh man. Okay. We're almost done. No reason to cry. Okay, now, now I wanna cry. Okay, you go away. Don't need you. Don't need you, whatever you are. And I'm catching on fire, so I need more potion. Need more juice. Okay, I have one extra potion here. This is definitely going to be enough. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I can do it like this. Okay, automatic mold activated. <laughs> All I see is fire. Man. Are those guys annoying? How annoying can you be? Stop it! I told you I was going to farm you and I'm back in here to farm you. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Stop complaining. That's your life now. Oh, you're trying to make my life miserable? <laughs> Wait and see. Oh, now they will be able to knock me off from here. But if I am careful enough... Okay. Okay, now I have to close all the holes I opened. So, close this. And... Where is my entrance? So close I was expecting to go yeah from the inside to go back from the inside but apparently I have to take care of this anyway so you <laughs> and place this button in here now I have to take care of that column right there so I will just get in kill a few of those guys hopefully I don't fall inside that hole I still have fire protection. Wow, this is a mess, guys. Wow, I'm taking so much damage because they're they're touching me. Okay, fireballs flying everywhere. Let's fire arrows at them real quick. Okay, more and more of those guys are going to spawn. I don't want to be here for this. So let me get as many blocks as I can. And now for my exit, I hope I'm not, I have an extra block here, I hope I'm not, okay, let me get out of here, close the exit, and now you're going to be farmed for the rest of your lives. That's what happens. Are they not aggro anymore? Oh, this is weird. Well, it's kind of expected, but this is weird at the same time, but yeah, I, I think the farm is already working, guys. You can see that the guys are all, through, all, all growing towards the center. It takes a little while. Uh, yeah, these guys are probably going there. Okay. So, yeah, this is the idea behind uh, everything in here. You see I have those solid blocks in here. And I have even a path, a viable path here. So, if those guys eventually uh, want to go on to, towards one of those... Uh, one of, toward of, toward of one of those blocks in the platforms in here... Uh, they think they can go through this place in here because they they trace pa uh, they trace paths through diagonals like this, through corners like this. This is what I learned from Nambo. I knew how they would go, how they would pick a random block around them, 
and uh, go towards that. I learned that from uh, Pi314. But what I didn't know is that there is a difference between transparent and solid blocks. They will path only to solid blocks. And this is how I'm trying to control them and trying to make they all go, uh, they all funnel towards the center. So it's time to check the redstone. So most of the time we're going to be down here. I didn't close this wall here, but I should, uh, especially because I will get more solid blocks in here and make everything solid back here if possible. So I left a little window in here, so this decreases a little bit the chance of those guys going towards the center, but they will eventually go there and most of the times you will see just a few uh, blazes up there, most of the time they're going to be uh, in the center. And if everything works now, if I flip this lever, uh, they, will, they will start to go down in two stages, so the first stage get them down one block and the second stage gets them down the second block so lava poured up there because this thing uh gave out a pulse uh so i have to i have to fix that now so how can i do this how can i create a pulse i think i think i can break this torch in here and then now this will be inverted forever and this is going to work okay break those blocks those are scaffolding and get back in here Okay, so now we don't have the lava up there, the spawner is operating. So if I hit one of those guys now, they should die instantly. Oh, I don't think this is happening. So there is a possibility that I, I missed uh, one item inside the crusher. So I will have to check for that. So first let's kill all of those guys. I also have to place a ladder here and another one in there. So one, two, yeah, this guy requires two hits to die. You guys just saw it. Let's see the next one, just to be sure, guys. So one, two, one, two. Okay, so let's add just one more item because I was, I was not, I wasn't sure if, if this was 21 items or 22 items. So let's add one more item and see if this fixes the problem. Okay. Uh, at this point, I could even use blaze rods. Should, should we, guys? Because we're going to get a lot of a lot of those things in here. So let's turn off. We can test it now. Lava has poured. Um, yeah, everything. So these guys will die with two hits. One, two, and one, and two. All right. So now for this, where I can't reach the hopper. Apparently, okay, 21 items. We're going to place 22 items in here and see what that does. Okay, now we're getting a little bit of sound in here. All right, so, okay, let's see if this works. Let's turn the form on. These guys are going to get to the first stage. Some of the guys were already inside the block, so they are going to get to the stage number two of the crusher. Uh, lava is out. And if we get a few new spawns in here, so let's try to one hit this guy. It worked. Let's see if if this still works. Wow, a bunch of guys. <laughs> okay, one. Yeah, they're they're all one hit kill guys. Yeah, and those letters are here just uh, is a finding by ETA. I'm not sure who who found out about it. Maybe what it was Pi as well. Yeah, that we can avoid entity cramming using those letters uh, in here. I'm not sure still if I want this in my design, but for now we're gonna leave uh, those guys in here. Lots of XP, <laughs> loving this. I can also throw the items in here and they will all arrive in here, hopefully. All right, the items are arriving. Okay, this should work. So uh, I'm not exactly <laughs> well protected. Uh, while down here, so I'm not sure if this is the best place to AFK at the moment, but <laughs> Okay guys, I will just try to get some protection around me and I will AFK for a while and then I will get back to you guys All right guys, are you ready to see the final result? So yeah, I just noticed that I can I can be AFK even from up here but I improvised something down there. As I mentioned before, I will change pretty much every block into concrete in the future. But for now, I think I did a good job. So let's see. Ta-da! <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, this is the new room, guys. Look how amazing this is. Just use it to fill stone bricks and uh, yeah, glass and iron. That's it. <laughs> Nothing but that. And we have our ender chest in here, and we have a few anvils. <laughs> Don't know if you guys noticed. So if you have any suggestions, be be uh, besides the blocks, of course, I will, or at least I want to change the blocks in the future. This is how many entities we have in here. So let's check on this side. Okay, we're <laughs> way above. So we have 28 levels now. We don't have anything to enchant or fix. So I think we're just going to take those levels and do whatever. Okay, I have looting on me and we have those items in here. Maybe we should take those out. Uh, I will eventually pick up some of the items, but I, I can keep, keep track of those. I wish we had just one blaze on top of this so I can hit him and hit everyone in the process. Almost like, almost what I wanted. Okay, I, I definitely got some extra <laughs> blaze rods in here with me. And we have a crafting table here, guys. How awesome is this? <laughs> so this is how many I was able to accumulate during the time I was building this thing uh, in here. Had to queue a few just to place the, the crafting table here, but that was definitely worth it. Um, and uh, let's see, we already have 55. 55? That was all? I was definitely expecting more. Maybe the item elevator is still, uh, is still going to bring them in here however we'll have to check something but for now guys we definitely have a functional way of getting xp around here and this is going to be very useful and with this material i will be able to start my potion brewing systems pretty soon guys and this is something that we can expect to see soon so i think that's all for now guys so thank you very much for watching don't forget to leave some feedback in the comments and see you next time guys bye